Arthur tells me you've been asking questions about how we run our business and how we get our booze and where we keep it. I'm just trying to help. As you and me go for a walk. Where to? Come on. Why here? You're a good Catholic girl, aren't you? Yes. Well, then you know it's here people come to confess. After you. Well, here it is, Grace. I'll confess. I need someone. Kimber has an advisor by the name of Roberts. He talks well, keeps the accounts, runs the legal side of the business. And you need a Robert? Arthur tells me you have ideas. I'm not an accountant, nor a lawyer. No. No, but you have something I need. Class. I need someone who looks right at the big meetings. Epsom, Ascot. Is this a job interview? Arthur says you're good with numbers. <laughs> well, that's relative. He's quite poor. <laughs> you keep the books in order. They were chaotic. But you're a liar. No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of a cross. You're very perceptive. First you lied to me about that pub you used to work in. Now I find out you're a Protestant. Do you care? No. I like to fit in. You pull a pint like someone who's thinking about it. This isn't an interview, this is an interrogation. Sit down. Look, Grace. You're washed up in a place you don't belong, for whatever reason. My good fortune. And perhaps mine. You know that most of what I do was illegal? I'm not blind. And yet you'd still be willing to work for me. Are you offering me the job? Then I accept. There's something else you should know. A very important detail about my reasons for employing you. You disappoint me. Do you resign? No. My appetite for the work has only increased. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'll show you around. <clears throat> 